that with this soul connection with the Two of Cups is going to lead to your legacy. There's something big here, Virgo. Really big. Hey there, Virgo. How are you? It's your first right here. Nice to see you again. Virgo. Time for mid-month. So, let's get an oracle card. Virgo, I know you know what time it is. And this is a general read. So take it resonates and leaves the rest. And this is for all Virgo placements. So, wherever Virgo is in your chart, let's get one card out for the sign of Virgo. To set the tone for this read. Virgo, I'm feeling release. I am. Let's see what, what comes up. Let's take a look. Feeling release. Like you've released something, you've accepted something, there's something that you're just not bothering with. Indecision. <laughs> or you need to release something, Virgo. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Listening to your intuition can only take you to the best places. It's your ego that takes you down roads you have to learn lessons from. And envy. This is what you might not see, Virgo. I am the same as everybody but with different challenges. This is a very interesting card because where a lot of people will judge others based on job, based on status, this is what you might not see is that you might judge Virgo others and to realize that everyone, you are the same as everyone, but with different challenges, you're here to learn the lessons that your soul wanted to experience. Let's get to the tarot and see what some of these challenges might be causing this indecision for you. Have you um, been focusing on the material too much, Virgo, and thus weakened, or I don't want to say lost, because it's never really lost. Some There are lost souls out there, I do have to say that, but lost the connection or have weakened the connection to the divine. Let's take a look, because once you have that real strong connection to the Divine Virgo, you really do see everyone um, as just experiencing different challenges. So, let's take a look. Let's see what the Tarot has for the Volary of Virgos. Oh, how many are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. I'll take it. First card out. The star. This is your connection to God. And when you, whether it be, and, and meditation isn't all the same for everyone. So find something that relaxes the mind and makes you feel the, um, the love of your angels, it kind of starts with the messengers. It starts with your angels. This is why I do the angel numbers here on this channel. Because if some people feel so disconnected to God, they can connect with their angels. So um, I'm really feeling, for some reason, this star is the connection to your angels. And your wishes will come true. This is what helps or hinders you, Virgo. And it helps when you reestablish a connection with angels. I'm going to put a book in the description box below that I just finished reading from the same author as the Angel Numbers book, Kyle Gray. Oh my goodness, it was confirmation for me, so I just want to put it down in the description box below. Um, High Priestess is your higher self, in your higher self position, and you are starting. It says here and here, I use my intuition in all, all aspects of life. And that's what the high priest is. You might not be speaking on it, but that's exactly what the high priestess is for you. King of Pentacles, your focus and foundation, your material. I'm going to say your material stability, security. In the past, you were very clear as to where you were going, how to get there, truth and integrity. 
and there's the indecision in the future. So just tap into that high priestess and you'll be fine, Virgo. How you see yourself is financially struggling. How other people see you, the Six of Cups. Your hope and your fear is a soulmate connection. That is really um, not just a soulmate connection, but you recognize, you see, and other people see you. They, this Two of Cups, you can really see the soul of the person you're with, whether it please be a, a family relationship um, or relation, well, a family relationship, a friendship, or a love, a spouse. There is a sense that we've we've seen each other, we know each other, we recognize each other from previous lifetimes, and that's that Six of Cups, and it's a very sweet, loving energy. That's how they see you, Virgo, and, and yet you see yourself as struggling when you're the King of Pentacles, that Five of Pentacles. So it's, it's as I said earlier on, it's letting go of the material or that sort of lack or have not energy and focusing in on the love, the Nine of Cups, your intuition. Where is the intuition taking you, Virgo? And the potential outcome, King of Wands, that which you might not see. And that 11th card, bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups, seeing through the illusion. And right now, you might not be able to see through the material illusion, not just yet. Not until you tap into your higher self. I'm going to say your soul self. And other people see you doing that with the Six of Cups. So, let's get to the Star card which really today for, for me, Virgo, for you, for this read, for all the, the bullery of Virgos out there, it really feels like the, your connection to the divine. This one's not going in. Yeah, take that leap of faith and believe, not just in yourself, in your soul, in that connection that you have. And oh, I'm loving this energy and learning. This is the practical application page. You've taken a leap of faith on yourself on the fact that you are Virgo, a spark of God, spark of the divine. And what you've learned up until this point, you are now applying. And it's on the material front. We'll get to the King of Pentacles, your higher self is saying, yeah, work with those that see you, work with those that, that have that uh, soul connection with you. Yeah, and get out of your head. I'm going to put this here because I think you're already working with these people um, that you've applied what it is that you work. This could be a new, a new work environment, a new job, a new company. And where it is that you're of two minds is whether or not to take this leap of faith for some of you. Listen to that intuition. Don't speak on it as the high priestess is the mute of the tarot. She doesn't really speak, but she knows. She knows who to work with. She knows where her time is put. She knows how to make her dreams come true with that Nine of Cups. King of Pentacles, your focus and foundation is manifesting this. Yeah, you've manifested the people that you want to work with. You've manifested that energy of that star, that healing, that hope for the future, that ability to be yourself and take that leap of faith with this group of people that you've manifested, whether you know it or not interesting and with a virgo read that nine of wands i keep seeing single-handedly holding up the hopes and wishes of others interesting ace of swords in the recent past king of cups i've got the king of pentacles and now the king of cups beautiful energy and the sun in the reverse. I'm gonna keep it. For some of you, you're really talking yourself out of this fool card, this, this leap of faith. You're not sure just yet, and this is in the recent past, of what makes you happy? You're, you're diving deep into this King of Cups energy. It's a Scorpio energy. 
and that the depths of your emotions, the depths of your logic, and really taking a look at what is going to bring you to the sun. Now, in the recent past, it's almost like this disbelief energy that if I take that leap of faith, that will give me star status, that will make me happy, and you're unclear. So connect that King of Cups, that logic and love is the King of Cups energy with the High Priestess to really see what it is, in fact, where your happiness comes from. It comes from within, and that's why going Scorpio deep will um, help get the clarity. Because the sun coming out in the reverse is very significant. Let's see. And that could, oh, and that could be causing this indecision, the two of swords. Let's take a look. Yeah, you've gone, this is you all day long, Virgo. This is your card, the Hermit card. So you've gone deep within, as I said, Scorpio deep, into this Hermit mode to really make the wisest decision regarding, wow, legalities, regarding what is going to balance out your work life, your home life, your family life. And how do you see yourself? Five of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles go back to the King. And what are you manifesting? Are you manifesting something single-handedly that you've, with the Magician card here, clarifying the King of Pentacles with the Nine? It almost feels like you've manifested, um, you've manifested this King of Pentacles single-handedly. That's all I keep hearing. Let's get another one out. And the Three of Swords. For some of you, this could be a father figure. I've got some King of Water. This is fixed water and fixed earth twice clarifying financial struggles, being left out in the cold. And if it was being left out in the cold through Scorpio, you're darn right, because Scorpios um, can get ice, ice cold. It's fixed water, which is ice. And if a Scorpio is clearly unhappy, if you're whether it be you're working with a Scorpio, you're in a relationship with a Scorpio that is unhappy, this is where this you see yourself is struggling to really see where this hurt, where this these, these hurtful thoughts, this Three of Swords is coming from. My question is, are you manifesting lessons learned with the Page of Pentacles right below? Are you manifesting those that see you and work well with you, whether it be a King of Pentacles or King of Cups? And other people see you looking in the past with the Six of Cups and moving away from heartache, moving away, and yet holding on. You could be holding on to... Um, especially if you're going through a Five of Pentacles struggle right now, you could be holding on to investments. Uh, I'm really feeling land or land opportunities, um, like real estate type of thing. And what it is that you are looking back, it could be old family home, uh, old family either cottage or cabin, that if you've lost someone with the Three of Swords, it, again, could be a father figure, you are looking um, to move forward with these beautiful thoughts and legally, with the Justice card here, legally taking a look at whether or not it's worth holding on to. Whatever this decision is, it's, it's a legal decision. And if it has to do with family homes, real estate, um, this type of thing, It's almost like I'm hearing Virgo be patient. Is this 
sort of fighting in, in court, is this going to make you happy to have this, let's say, said, you know, cabin or cottage or piece of land or real estate or house or home, this type of thing? Or are you going to move away with nothing but the memories? Let's see what this Two of Cups is about. Queen of Cups. I've got a King and a Queen here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. And a Ten of Pentacles. This is your hope and our fear, Virgo. That by listening, because this is Piscean energy, in this in this deck it's the Queen of Cups. It, it would normally be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio, Cancer being the, um, the Cardinals. And of course, my queens are cardinals, my kings are fixed, and of course, the the uh, knights are the mutables. But in this particular deck, because of these fish, I see Pisces all day long. So what's this hope for this connection to a Pisces? That your higher self is saying, there might be some sketch there. <laughs> just, just sit back and be aware. Take that leap of faith, but don't be holding up. You could work with the Pisces. You could have a relationship in a family, like a family member, a sibling. Um, or this is with the two, with it clarifying the two of cups. This is really the love of your life. King of Wands is right above that Justice card. Look at this. The Emperor. This is Aries. And the tower. Wow. This king of wands has taken some big moves. Actually, I'm going to switch this because I think this this emperor, which is clarifying the king of wands, this this emperor move, he's he's not going to sit in indecision. He's again with these majors, with the emperor being major, the hermit. Clarifying the Two of Swords, whatever this decision is that has to happen legally, you're going deep within Virgo. This is your card, the Hermit card. To really find the wisdom to make the right decision, the Emperor does. And it could cause towers with that Tower card. But you're going to lead, take charge and lead. And it could be through the justice system that you could be bringing towers down, whether it be um, through government or or corporations um, that whatever decision you make it's going to really blow up the illusions that others have been trying to to maintain and we've got this two of swords in the near future and the indecision card using your intuition and when I have the two sorry the um, high priestess and both masculine and feminine of the water, both king and queen of cups, that with this soul connection with the two of cups is going to lead to your legacy. There's something big here, Virgo, really big. It's almost like the cards are saying, don't hold on to this nostalgic place. Move out of that seven of cups, that darkness, that illusion. And it's with your own Lantern, and I'm seeing it. What's in that lantern? The star card. You are the star moving forward. You are going to bring down, I'm hearing, corporations. If you're in law, if you're in that field and you deal with uh, corporate law, that kind of thing, like this is, these are big moves. Virgo. That which you might not see. The Seven of Cups. Look at that. And we've got the king and the queen of cups, and we've got the king and the queen of wands. Right above that justice card. The king sits right above that justice card, that fire. The internal, I'm hearing the internal flame. And he's moving forward with these big boss moves, with the emperor. And the queen of wands. Is there a queen of wands sort of stirring this all up for you, Virgo? A queen, oh, this is, again, fire sign, so this is Aries. Leo Sagittarius, looking right at you. It could it be a Leo? Could it be an Aries that's looking at your happiness and going, now I'm just gonna cause a little problem for Virgo. 
I'm gonna add another wand to Virgos. Like I'm gonna add another, if you're in the legal uh, system, I'm gonna add another case to Virgo. Virgos, and they've got a stack, but this, it almost feels like a boss that, that wants to keep you in this illusion. It almost feels like, it could be for some of you, a mother figure that wants to keep you in this seven of cups illusion, that wants to keep you in this indecision, that wants to keep you sort of in this sun card reversed. When you have clarity, they kind of throw something at you to, to, to flip the script, right? Kind of throw some questioning your way so that you doubt your higher self, that you doubt your intuition, that you don't want those wishes to come true because their wishes come first. It's a very manipulative energy, especially clarifying the Seven of Cups. So just be aware of that. Let's get some angel numbers, Virgo. I see seven. One seven. It's right there. Seven one seven. Seven one seven. Your magic is being unlocked. Yes, indeed. And this Queen of Wands knows it. Um, you are in a magical portal, which will allow you to manifest your dreams. And we've got that Nine of Cups right across. This is the minor to the major. This is two major dream cards. Stay in alignment with your highest thoughts, High Priestess in the high, um, in the higher self position, and feelings. And we have both the King and the Queen of the water on the table in order to usher in big magical changes. This is major, Virgo. This is major. <laughs> when we have the sun reverse, in the upright or reverse, it doesn't matter. It's a major card. Happy, happiness. And, and it could be just um, seeing clearly what makes you happy, as we spoke about. The fool, the star, the magician, the high priestess, the Emperor, the Hermit, the Justice card, the Tower. Like, we've got some majors on here. So whatever you have to decide with the Indecision card, make sure you use your intuition in all aspects of life. Because we've got, we've got love, we've got um, work, we have career, we have family. We have all aspects. And that first card out. And there's a lot of envy. As I'm seeing, I really feel this energy of the Queen of Wands trying to just mess Virgo up, however she can. And now I look at the bottom of the deck here, and it says envy. I am the same as everyone, but with different challenges. There is a, there's a fire sign that doesn't want to see you succeed, is what I'm seeing. But let's get to some more angel numbers. 292. 292, Virgo. Miracles are unfolding before your eyes. Prepare for a shift of perception and reality. Wow, Virgo, I see 262. Let's do 262, last one. 262, Virgo, you are being invited to be honest with yourself and in all your relationships. And that's what I see for you, Virgo. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your force fairy. Bye for now.